Well, guys, here we are. Another, what should we call this? A fireside chat. I'm back in the galley aboard Boogaboo and just gonna make myself some toast. Beautiful gluten-free bread. Put some peanut butter on it. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Yeah, I just came in uh, really quickly to make a coffee and I saw the bread sitting up there and I thought, well, I'm gonna take advantage of this beautiful bread, make myself some toast, catch up with you guys a little bit. And, excuse me if I disappear for just a second while I reach in there for the, uh, for the peanut butter. Where are we here? I mean, it's way at the back, way at the back of the fridge. Um, yeah, I just wanna do a quick catch up with you. <laughs> peanut butter, not ketchup. Uh, just let you know where we are. It is, uh, it is, today is the Saturday of the Labor Day long weekend, which means, yes, we are already into September unbelievable i say this every year but it's incredible how it's incredible how quickly the summers go uh this year in particular was because the um well you know everything that has been going on in the world and it, it wasn't a late start for our season but it was a late start in my mind because we were not hyped up to get the boat in the water and getting going because it was a lot of unanswered questions back in april and may so it just seemed to come upon us really really quickly and then all of a sudden before you know it uh our summer holidays came along which were as you know because i already posted the first uh, episode in our abbreviated 2020 cruise um well, yeah we didn't start that till uh, the middle of august which is the latest we've ever ever done that yeah sorry i just got to keep looking out because the little tiny gorilla is here here i'll grab him for you just hold on stay there he's right here come here Look at, look at this little guy. Isn't he just the cutest boating kitty cat you've ever seen? Yes, he is. And he loves a boat. We love having him on the boat. This has been, this guy here has been the highlight to my boating season this year. Absolutely. He's such a joy to have with us. So anyways, getting back to what I was saying, um, uh, late start in my mind to the season, a late start but a quick finish to our, our, our summer cruise this year um, and now all of a sudden boom we're into September and I'm really really busy with work and so my mind is focused not so much on boating of course at the end of the season um, as to work and you know what I'm going to be doing off and during the off season the, the plus part of that is that uh, with being so busy I won't have a lot of time to think about the boat other than maybe <laughs> a replacement one um, so that's going to hopefully help things go by a little bit quicker in the off season. So, like I said, I just want to touch base with you because I'm going to throw this in and just say hi to you guys. Hope everything's going well with you guys. Hopefully that you are or have enjoyed your day, Labor Day long weekend. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the season that we just had. If you're a boater, if you have a boat, uh, give me your thoughts on uh, how you've been dealing with it. Hopefully with yourselves, it's been much like us. It's been, <laughs> it's been a weird summer, but it's been, our boating has not been really, really impacted by everything that's going on or affected by it. Uh, the worst part is only uh, when we're on our holidays that I have to wear a freaking mask every time I go shopping for something, but I guess it's a small price to pay. Um, but yeah, apart from that, everything has gone well um, I have a lot of uh, upcoming um, how I did it videos upgrades repairs shit that I've done sorry stuff that I've done on the boat this year which has been uh, numerous and despite the fact that I thought I had pretty much everything done last year and I say this every year that no that's it I'm done that no more major projects on the boat but every year I end up doing more stuff um, but one thing which I really really had to do was the uh, battery charger which is working primo so that and a bunch of other ones so I hope you will look forward to seeing those coming up um, as well as the remainder of our boating videos of our cruising videos not as much as 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 in the past but I still got tons even when we were traveling you now the GoPro was running a lot so I'll have a lot of uh, sit back Sunday GoPro videos and uh, thanks for all of you who gave us a shout out when we were traveling this past summer uh, every year when we're on the waterway when we're cruising through the Trans Severn waterway we have a lot of people come up to us and say hi guys how's it going 
and uh, that and just seeing how appreciative they are of the videos that I put out there and how much they've learned which is so inspiring to me to hear that so I really appreciate that guys um, and uh, I was surprised on how many people said that the uh, sit back Sunday GoPro videos helps everybody to get through the winters which is awesome so I have quite a few of those coming up probably a lot of the areas that you've seen in the past but it is what it is so just checking on the kitty cat um, yeah so yeah that's pretty much it no the season's not over yet no we're not done boating we got, still have about a month and a half left of being in water and um, so I'll share with you whatever I can whatever is interesting you never know maybe even another coffee and toast video let me know what you think of this like I said I was just inspired to grab the camera and uh, share this with you my thoughts and I will look forward to uh, sharing as much as I can even during the off season I know there is still sorry that's probably loud with the coffee maker going um, a few things that I want to do which are not directly related to this year but uh, seasons past and some insightful videos so I still got to get those out there yeah so that's that um, once again, if you uh, have a chance, please, I would encourage you to look at my Facebook and Instagram pages. Everything's just hashtag Boating with Boogaloo, and you will find them on those platforms. Uh, especially Facebook is great because we have um, the ability to, uh, I can answer you with actually some photos. If somebody has some questions about a place or whatever, I can share a photo with you generally of where we've been or what we're talking about. And also, please don't forget to uh, look at my Patreon page if you are interested in maybe offering some support there. That would be much appreciated. And um, yeah, just say hi. Say hi on any or all of those platforms. We'd love to hear from you. And again, like I say, please just let me a com leave me a comment as to your impressions on uh, boating season 2020. Hopefully, they are all good and positive. Kitty cat disappeared. Hold on. Ah, he's not interested in me. He's chasing bugs or something out the back. So, yeah, that's that. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. More boating videos to come. That's it. Take care. Cheers.